What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about self-offense rather than self-defense. So before I get started, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and thank you very much for that. So let's get right into it. So I was watching a lot of these uh, self-defense videos lately, and one thing that I realized when I was thinking about my life and all, all the experiences I had uh, in street fights and bar fights when I was in my 20s, between 20 and 30, I was pretty wild and I was getting into it with, uh, with a lot of people in bars and in clubs and, and stuff like that. And I realized that I've always gotten out of it, not all the time, but most of the time I've gotten out, out, of, out of the situation after fighting, of course, without being too banged up, okay? And a lot of that had to do was with, with the fact that I was always preemptive. I always hit first. I always hit first. And I think that when you, when you strike first, you have the element of uh, surprise on your side, okay? So you have a slight advantage because now the other person has to play catch up, you know? So I'm not saying you go attack people, but I just want to talk about a, a different mentality. Instead of waiting for a punch to come and then blocking it and then defending yourself, I think it's, it's a better approach or, or it's, it's another approach, okay? It's my approach anyway, to be on the offensive, so self-offense. So if I feel, if I judge that a, a situation is getting dangerous and it's gonna end up being a, a fist fight or whatever kind of fight, then I'm just gonna hit the guy first, <laughs> okay? And then I'll deal with it from there, you know? And obviously the guy's not gonna go down right away, we're gonna exchange, but at least I have that first one, that first attack going, it might catch him a little bit off guard, so I might, I might not have knocked him out, you know, it depends um, if the guy moved with the punch, if, if you managed to, to hit at the right spot, if you hit hard enough, and, and all kinds of things, right? But at least you're the first one, boom! And then of course you don't, you don't stop until, until it's done, right? Until uh, it's settled and you, you can get out of there or um, whatever. Or, you know, the guy you know, tells you to stop and begs for mercy, whatever. But anyways, or until boom, 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 you create enough space, you know, and you slow the guy down enough so that you could get, get the hell out of there, right? So that you could be safe. So I really prefer that mentality than waiting for someone to hit me, you know? So here's the thing. Now, the first thing, and now, let me just start by saying that self-offense, uh, being offensive in life, right? On the offensive means taking action, and I think in life that's how you win, okay? Uh, even in sports and, and, and games and everything, I mean, you have to be on the attack. Yes, you have to learn how to defend, but games are won on the offensive, when, when the team is attacking and scoring points, not just goaltending all the time, okay? So, it's important to know how to defend, but I think it's more important to know how to attack. And of course, you have to be the judge of that, uh, when, when there's a situation that's going down, when there's, there's conflict, right, with somebody else. So one thing I wanna cover in this video quick, quick, is distance management, okay? Here's the thing, me, like if someone comes up to me, well, comes up to me, that's where it starts, right away. If I see a guy, he looks pissed for whatever reason, or let's say he's screaming for me from afar, and, I, and he's telling me off, and I'm telling him off, and now he's coming forward, Here's the thing, I keep the guy at arm's length, okay? Now, I don't stick out my arms like this, but you can kind of measure, like if you know yourself, and that's why it's important to, to practice some form of combat, some form of martial arts, so that you could gauge this distance here. So, if the guy walks up to me, I'll go, whoa, whoa, buddy, you know? What I do is I keep my hands up and I, t and I tell him, hey, stay back, man, you don't have to, don't, don't come close. You could stay there and talk, you know? Say what you have to say, standing where you are, motherfucker, you know? And I would be, that's my approach. That's what I would do. So I have my arms length. Why? Because if we're up close and personal like this, I can't see what's coming. I could get headbutt, and I can get, like, uh, I can get, uh, you know, I can get uppercut, I can get a hook, I can get a knee in the balls, whatever, right? So I keep it at arm's length. So... That way, if you froze anything, I could see it coming. And after that, while we're talking, 
okay keep your hands up you know you don't have to be like this you're not a bouncer bouncers they tend to do this this is a uh, bass root and actually talks about this too uh, you know you can headbutt and you just da, 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 and then you can elbow and you can pop pop and you can throw right but let's say we keep it at this distance okay so now obviously the guy might stay he might not listen to you and keep keep um keep uh keep moving forward but what you want to do is you want to keep that so you go, you you just keep your hands out hey buddy take it easy you know stay there let's stop you have a problem why well, why are you coming close what are you gay you know you, you not that I have anything against people, uh, gay people, but you know what I mean. So you keep you keep the distance like this with your hands, and what you do is you circle, okay? You circle while you're talking, while the guys, you know, talking shit, blah blah blah. So you circle, you circle, you circle. So you watch the guy, and you keep him at arm's length, more or less. Hey, what's up? Because at this distance, right? You see, if he comes in, and you really feel like this guy is gonna go for it. You could, you could hit him, you could pop, pop. You could be preemptive, you can hit, right? And you could see it coming. So, you know, you could just kind of move back and you want to circle. This is like a fighting principle, like in boxing. Like you don't want to be moving back all the time because the guy could lunge towards you and knock you out, right? Like he could lunge much faster, uh, your opponent could lunge much faster towards you than you can moving backwards. So that's why you want to be circling, circling. So you circle, you talk to the guy, whoa, whoa, take it easy, buddy. And you could even, while you're circling, you can have the side stance where this, I'm, I'm a southpaw guy, so I'm like this, I feel like, whoa, take it easy, take it easy, fuck you, na 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 you know, you, you know, what's your problem, stay there, you know what, what, what are you going to do, what are you going to do, you know, and then we could just argue until the, until the cows come home, but if I feel that, you know, it's coming, I'll just crack them, you know, one, two, boom, and then from there you keep going until you resolve it, but here's the thing. I won't let this go on and on. I won't let the guy approach me. Nobody, I, I never let anybody approach me. Because if you, if you come within striking distance of me, it's on. You're getting a punch in the face. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like about a guy or a girl or whatever comes in all angry and aggressive and you feel the danger, you know? And I don't want to get hit first. Fuck that. I, like, I'll, I'll take the guy out, you know? Or... Yeah, the guy, the guy out. <laughs> so if the guy approaches too much, I tell him, whoa, back the fuck, back the fuck up, right? And then I circle. Now, if he keeps wanting to talk, talk. But I keep my distance because I want to see his hands. I don't want to be so close where you see, like, if we're close like this, you don't see my hands anymore. And if you look down, you could still, you could still get it, right? Like, you look, you know, you want to be, look usually when we talk to somebody, we're looking at their face. But if you're looking at their face like this, you can't look down, you can't see where the hands are coming from. So anyways... I always keep the person at a distance, so that's a distance management thing. And then from there, if it's going nowhere, and, and if the guy really is telling me stuff like, I'm gonna break your face, you know, right now, then, well, fuck, you know, I, I punch him. <laughs> so I think it's, it's better to, to be on the offensive and get out of it alive than, uh, than not. Okay, because sometimes self-defense, a, a lot of self-defense, they you're waiting for the guy to react, and it's it's nerve-wracking, man. I mean, imagine you're standing there, and the guy's there, and he's big, he's mad, and you're just like, okay, okay, I'm just waiting for that punch to, to, to for him to throw that one thing, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be like, no, nah, man, fuck that. Like, you know, I keep it simple, and so I keep that distance, and that's it, and. Listen, if, if, I can't, if I can't get out of it and we can't like just you know, scream at each other and then just go home, then I'll, I'll, I'll have to hit the guy. And uh, either you could punch him, you could give elbow. I, I tend to like elbow for whatever reason. Well, the last couple of ones, this was still a long time ago, but it was always the elbow that I threw. And so that's it. So I mean, if the guy breaks the distance and he's, and he's right in my face, elbow right away fucking head but that's it that's all and then I keep going at it you know I don't let a guy an angry dude come close to me enough where like he, he breaks that distance you know like I want to see where his arms are and shit like that just in case like for example if he had a knife or, or something too right so you want to see him clearly you want to see his arms right what's in his hands so you have to keep a certain distance so that distance has to be respected okay so if that resistance isn't respected, I go preemptive. So that's where this whole uh, being offensive uh, 
is all about. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was somewhat insightful, somewhat informative, you know. Uh, that's how I approach it. And let me know in the comments what you guys think. Obviously, like and uh, share uh, this video if you have uh, people who'd want to see it. And oh, by the way, in the description, I left my email now, right, for, for, for this channel. So if you, have, if you guys have any questions, hey, you could, you could either leave it in the comments here, or if you want, if it's a question that's a little bit where you want more privacy, then just send me an email and uh, I'll get back to you. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.